say you'll come? Oh, that's very sweet of you, Lily. But I don't know. Oh, it won't be any fun without you. Right, Holden? Right. You know what? I, actually, I, I, I just can't. Why not? Metro's closed tonight, isn't it? Yes. Uh, but Jack and Parker are here. That's okay. Bring them, too. The more, the merrier. Well, actually, Jack's already fired up the grill. Uh, we're gonna have some hot dogs and hamburgers. I guess it's just, uh, bad timing, huh? That's too bad. Well, maybe it's, it's good that you're alone with Holden. You can celebrate being back together. We will certainly do that. See you soon. Happy 4th. Holden sends his love. Bye. I'm not disturbing you. No, no. Uh, come on in. I'm Great. not busy at all. Are you limping? Yeah, I landed in a gopher hole at the construction site. Oh, sorry. Oh, thanks. So, you have any plans for the holiday weekend? Where are the kids? <sighs> kids aren't here, so it doesn't really feel like much of a holiday at all. I hear you. So, is there something? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I need to ask you a favor. Uh -huh. um, well, it's not for me, it's for Henry. Oh. He wants you to talk me into selling him a share of Metro, right? How'd you guess? He's the original one-track mine. Yeah, he's, he's persistent. You got that right. It's not gonna work. Why not? I mean, he's absolutely convinced that it's gonna make Vienna ecstatically happy. I think it's kind of sweet that he wants to give her the royal treatment, don't you think? Nothing's too good for the love of his life. Well... When a man puts a woman up on a pedestal like that, there really is no feeling like it in the world. Sounds like a win-win to me. He's offering to do a lot of work for you. He could stay at the club late while you're at home with the kids. You know, I know. Part of me thinks I'd be crazy not to say yes. So what's the problem? Well, the kids aren't here. And I'm alone. And I, I want to keep busy, even if I'm overextending myself. Oh. So I take it Henry's answer is no. That's right. Well, I'll give him my best shot. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame you for wanting to keep busy. It's the best thing to do when you want to forget about what you're missing. Well, yeah, have a great fourth. Or, or try to, at least. Take care. Uh, uh, my, my, wait. Don't go. So, Mike, what do you have planned tonight? You have anything uh, scheduled mm, for the holiday? Not much. I was going to go down to the construction site, clean things up a bit. Mm. Sounds as deadly as what I have planned. What's that? Well, Metro's closed. I thought I'd go down and do the books. <laughs> <laughs> that is pathetic. Yes, pathetic. We both are. Maybe we could turn that around. What do you have in mind? Maybe we could hang out. You and me. Why not? <laughs> well, we, uh, we tried that once, and it didn't work out too well, if I recall. Right. Well, I'm not interested in, in repeating past mistakes. I'm busy making new ones. <laughs> I, I just need to get out of a little rut. Yeah. It's Independence Day, you know? And while I love being independent, I, uh, I don't want to be alone right now. Okay, well, what do you want to do? I got invited to a cookout. Would you like to come with? Sure. I'm there. Hello? Is it too late to change my mind about coming over for that barbecue? No, no, we're just getting started. Can I bring someone along? Yeah, you mean Jack? No, not Jack. Uh, he's not here, actually. I, I, I lied about that. Jack and Parker are on a fishing trip, aren't they? How did you know? Holden told me. Well, when you called earlier, I guess I was feeling sorry for myself. I didn't want you to know that I was alone. Carly, you don't have to be alone. You should be with friends. That's what I figured. So what's up? You found someone to bring with you? It just sort of worked out that way. I hope you don't mind. No, no, bring him. I mean, it's a guy, right? <laughs> yes. Is he handsome? Very. Ooh, who is it? I'll surprise you. Well, then come on over here. Can we bring anything? No, just yourselves and hurry. So, are, are you absolutely sure that Carly's bringing a date? She is a big girl. She can take care of herself. She's got this under control. I doubt it. I think that this explains a lot because, you know what, she's been acting weird around me lately. And 
Quite honestly, I thought that she was maybe even trying to hide something. But it's that she's got this new boyfriend, and she wasn't ready to tell me about it, and now she is. No, no, you're, you're way off. What do you think's going on with her? Hello? Hey, Hello? We're, we're out here. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you? Where's, where's the boyfriend? Uh, inside. So you're the mystery man, huh? Carly had us thinking she had a new beau. <laughs> well, if she does, it's not me. Do you want to tell me what the hell you think you're doing? I'm trying to act like nothing happened between us. Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? There's such a thing as trying too hard. Look who Carly brought us her date. Hey, old Mike. <laughs> How are you? Great. She really had us going there. We thought that you were her new boyfriend. Oh, no, that privilege is going to have to be reserved for another lucky guy. Uh, can I give you a hand with anything, Holden? No, no, I, I'm okay. I, I was just about to put the uh, steaks on the grill. Carly, come help me with the drinks. Yeah, sure. Mike, grab your beer. Great. So, you and Carly are to watch us hanging out as friends? Yeah, yeah, that's Jack's territory. I'm not going to go there. Yeah, you're not kidding about that. <clears throat> So you and Mike, is this a romantic stroll down memory lane or what? No, no. Romance has nothing to do with it. I'm really, I'm not interested in that. Too much has been going on lately. Do you and Jack? Jack's out of the picture. Carly, I hate to see you alone. I'm fine. Really, I'm, I'm fine. I don't know. You just, you seem out of sorts lately. Can you blame me? Hey, where are those beers? Here you go. Thank you. Mike. Thanks. You're welcome. This deserves a toast. Welcome home, sweetie. Happy fourth oh. to new beginnings to all of us. Cheers. 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 I was headed to the store. I didn't think you'd be up. Why are you here, Holden? I told you that I was headed to the store, but somehow I ended up here. I shouldn't have come here, but I... What? I wanted to see if Mike's car was still here. Why? This is stupid. This is so stupid, okay? And I shouldn't be feeling this, but... I was a little jealous. There's no reason to be jealous about Mike. He's just a friend. I know that. But the truth is, when you showed up with him at the house, I couldn't have feelings for Mike. Not when I have them. Not when I have feelings for you. You don't feel so strange being in this house. It's almost like I shouldn't be here. When Jack's not here, it's Jack's house. It's not Jack's house. It's mine. But it does feel weird, like... Like our boundaries are all mixed up and we have to get them back before we get into trouble. Maybe that's why I brought Mike to the cookout tonight to try to find those boundaries. Yeah, I got the message. But it didn't work, did it? We came here anyway. Holden, it's me. Listen, can you pick up some eggs and some blueberry muffin mix? I want to make us breakfast in bed. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Come home soon. I will. I love you, sweetheart. Me too. 
Well, that was awkward. Lily's waiting for you. You should get to the store. I should have come here. This isn't the way it's supposed to be. And somehow it never is how it's supposed to be. Not in my life, anyway. I'm sorry. Me too.